Hi guys, Anel Tunes, the African Mix Master, back in another tutorial. In this quick video, I'm going to show you my best mixing plugins, five mixing plugins. First is the Pro MB. I love the Pro MB, uh, which is a multiband compressor by FabFilter, and it normally comes fast on my chain. And uh, I use it to scoop out all to cut out harsh frequencies whenever they arise. Of late, I've been gravitating so much towards multiband compression and dynamic EQ when I'm working on my vocals. Uh, I really don't have a reason as to why, but I feel uh, it's more, more, more reliable. It's more, what should I say? You don't have to scoop out the frequency throughout the whole song because that particular frequency may be uh, comes out well in different phrases of the song. So I only scoop out frequencies when they arise, depending on what I'm dealing with. So I use the multiband compressor first on my chain. And why I love this particular multiband, because of its versatility, it's very versatile. You can do a lot of things. You can move frequency bands differently. You can, it's easy, just click here. You have a frequency band and you can move them so freely. You can easily adjust the crossover points just by scrolling on the mouse, depending. And each frequency band, for example, we are at the blue here. This frequency band here gives you its own parameters down here. Everything you need, the ratio, the expander, the knee attack, look, uh, the look ahead, threshold, range, and everything. It's so, so versatile and very, very easy to use. It even has some more advanced parameters that you can work with. Uh, say you want to do some mid-side processing or, you know, whatever you may want to do. It's so, so versatile and so, so easy, easy to use. And if you don't know about multiband compression, I've done a multiband compression video on my channel, please. I think it's somewhere up or down or look for it in my channel. It's there. And my next plugin, second plugin, after the multiband compressor is there. Arvox, this is my favorite vocal compressor. I just love the Arvox by Waves. It's so, so amazing, very, very easy to use. And uh, it also has a get. You can cut out uh, noise between phrases just by pulling up this one fader here. And then uh, I also love the compressor and the gain. One thing I love about this compressor is that I can get massive gain out of it and uh, I don't have to deal with the uh, attack release and everything. All this is done automatically. Uh, the way I use it, I just um, normally, this is how it comes. This is the default preset. I select both of them and I pull them down as the audio plays. When I feel I have the right compression that I'm looking for, then I can pull back the gain to get back my volume that I've lost or even or if I want more volume I'll just pull back this gain here and uh, we are good to go amazing amazing vocal compressor then my next plugin there would be my fab filter pro q3 this is an amazing plugin very versatile just like the pro mb I think it has what up to 24 frequency bands that you can create and uh it also it's also a dynamic eq uh very very simple to use i can for example i'll just click here and i'll create a frequency point and i can just scroll the mouse to have the cues wider or smaller and i can just move it so freely anywhere and how when i hear bad frequency just put it down I also love its transparency. It, it has amazing uh, transparency. It doesn't really introduce sound to the recording. The sound remains as clean as you got it. Uh, plus also, the, when you look at the parameters here, which is the gain, you can also control them here, moving the frequency points. You can uh, move the cue, make it wider or bigger. You can select curves here. And these parameters are for each frequency band. You can move uh, so many shapes here, we have the shelters and the filters and the whatever, all right there. It has, you can even use it here. We have, you can select mid-side 
uh, processing. You can combine the sides. You can say only the mid. You can work in stereo. You can choose to EQ just the left or just the right side, depending on what you want. Uh, it is all here in this EQ. Amazing, amazing plugin. Uh, not to say, uh, oh, let me make this clear. I don't use all these parameters every time I'm working. Depends on the situation that arises. And uh, a very beautiful EQ. Then after my EQ, I have my compressor, which is my favorite compressor on vocals, which is the CLS 76 blue, not black. I love the color. I love the color it brings. It has some analog uh, audio, some analog artifacts that it adds on the vocals, and uh, so very simple compressor to use. Uh, the more you push it, the, the more you push the input. It's like you're telling the compressor to work and compress then you can control the the output right here we also see i also see um the attack the difference with this compressor is that the bigger the value the faster it reacts and the smaller the value the slower it reacts and this is what confuses most people about uh, these uh, la compressors this is a slow attack this is a fast attack however it would be different on these other normal compressors fast is the smaller figure and uh, slow is the bigger figure whereas on this one fast uh, is the bigger figure and slow is a smaller figure simple as that it also has the ratio points here selected ratio points i normally use four and eight when i'm working with vocals depending on the vocal that i have uh, but most probably, I will use uh, Faux. Amazing, amazing plugin. It, it adds that color to your vocals. My other EQ that I love, plugin that I love on my vocals that must be on my chain is the RS-56 on my vocals. Why I love this particular plugin is simply because it has a very sweet sounding curve. What, what do I mean by that? If I'm to boost using this particular EQ, say at 16 cycles there, uh, and I'm just to boost by seven, it, it adds that shine. Its increments are very smooth. It has, it's not a harsh uh, EQ. It's so smooth. I also used on mastering, by the way. I just love this EQ here. Very simple to use. I can say if I want, say, a bell... Uh, a bell curve i simply just come make it say i want a slightly medium here and i can push or bring down i just choose selected it has selected frequency points here that you can work with for example if i'm to use this one here i'll make it smaller and you can simply see what it really does it's an amazing plugin i just love its sound it's so sweet it's a very sweet sounding eq and uh, I use normally this one to boost frequencies. Just like um, we saw on the Pro Q3, you can see on my EQ here, this Pro Q3, I do not, I didn't do any boosting whatsoever. No boosting any frequencies. I just use it as a corrective EQ to take out those frequencies that I don't want. But when it comes to this one here, now this is when I boost the frequencies. This is when I add some color to a particular frequencies why because it is a smooth and sweet sounding eq so i only boost using these by webs very very beautiful plugin and those are the, my best five plugins for mixing vocals this year 2023 thank you for watching and also don't forget to click the link in the description go and sign up for my free course thanks for watching see you in my next video Bye bye